hi. Hi there. How you doing? What, what, you thought I was this guy? No, 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 just, I just need to cut my nails is all. <laughs> I just gotta find the seat and, ugh. oh god. Don't break the chair, Austin. Hello, everybody, and welcome, and... Let's just take these off. I don't think I need these to unbox stuff. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another unboxing video today. And, well, today, as you can see, we are doing the sound and slash... Oh, is the thing that's what it's called? Yep. Sound and slashing Therizinosaurus for Jurassic World Dominion. One of the most popular toys I've seen around so far, at least for like the regular Mattel ones, and no reason to explain why, I mean just look at the detail on this one in comparison to some of the others, like the claws, the posability, the electronics and all that, it's just one of the best ones that we've seen from Mattel in quite a while, and reminds me of actually the, uh, what? What's it called? The Electronic Indoraptor. That was in December of 2018, I believe it was. At least when it came out in Canada. And it was like this, actually. It had posability and electronics. Sort of like combining the two aspects we wanted desperately with toys. Because you all either got them like the T-Rex here that was just... Well, I think this is in the way. The T-Rex right here that was just like fully electronic and no posability at all, or you just had the Indoraptor that was just posable, nothing else. And these, this and that Indoraptor is sort of like what we wanted. We wanted a merging of both. And I'm probably showing you some close-ups of this, and like the T-Rex box art, it's got some beautiful artwork on the background. Also, one thing I just noticed actually, is unlike with the T-Rex one, where it just has a vehicle and the T-Rex of course, this one, uh, I'll show you in close-ups, of course, has a helicopter that's also chasing, which is really interesting, showing of quite the variety. I know that I've mentioned that in the T-Rex unboxing, but just didn't realize it was on this one. Also, of course, got the Dominion logo on the side and the Pyraptor, which is a bit strange that they're really milking this Pyraptor. I think it's because, like, the toy hasn't come out or something. I don't know. And then, just before we get them, oh yeah, front shows like some of the animations, including the scan code and what it's for, the Primal Ops game or whatever it's called, um, the action feature where you can actually do one of them, which, geez, that's quite loud, oh god, hopefully it's not going to destroy the mic, and yeah, posable hands and stuff. And that's the other feature, just like the T-Rex. It's pretty much like the T-Rex for action figures. But before I go, I just gotta actually go and grab scissors because I realized I forgot those again. So, uh, transition to me cutting it open. And after one hairdress up, realizing that he was kind of a foo for forgetting to do that, and a trip down the kitchen, I have the scissors. And also, just realized before, I need to look at back of the block. Yes, 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 you can talk too, but uh, let me do the commentary, please, Thera. The back of the box, which actually showcases the feature that we can't really showcase really too well in the box, like the T-Rex, the swiping of it, which I assume is to sort of make up for the fact that, like, you know, you don't have an action feature with the claws. Like, you can pose them in any way, but you use the body to swing them, which I actually do prefer over that, because then you can get the hands in any position. You can, like, have them, like, like just sort of he yo and we'll of course demonstrate that and also it shows like the feature of the biting again and also like you know collect the t-rex as well because you know you want a t-rex but let's waste no more time here and let's just get him out of the box and it seems that there's only uh th three to cut <coughs> oh there's also one in his foot his footsie is contained i release you from your bonds of oppression yeah Well then, and you know, we just, just gotta get rid of the box and stuff, and uh, scissors, I don't think we need you anymore, uh, let's just tuck them where they're safe, away from you, Rodrigo, we know what happened last time, we know we watched you, they, I have witnesses, though, if you go after them, then never mind. And let's just get him stand and fix his foot, actually. There, the Therizinosaurus. And, wow, geez, actually, this sculpt is much better out of the box on this side, too. Like, I was worried, because, like, this side looks a little bit... 
weird because like there's a little chip on it. But no, this side, this side's actually better. So I'll point him this way. And yeah, like these claws are awesome. And yeah, guys, I had to get the other Therizinosaurus claws just, just because. Not just for the video, of course, but also, you know, to scare people. I have issues, you see. And I gotta say, this sculpt is really good. And like, you know, yeah, you can like. So yeah, like, yeah, you just point the tail. Although it's loose enough that you actually can just, you know, use your fingers or like, you know, shake him around like this. Which, realistically, isn't that what a kid would do? They wouldn't really do this. They would just go, Hee -yum! And also, of course, we need to um, test him on something. Uh, where's a nice volunteer? Uh, there we go, reaching to the sky. Well, it's actually, reach for the sky. Uh, we'll use, um, Blue and Vader. I don't know why. I don't even know why I put Vader on top. I guess I just thought it looked cool. Um, so, if we just, um, position the hand the right way. No, actually, it won't be. Cut the attitude. Yeah, and also, it's got... Will you shush? I'm trying to talk, damn it. He's got elbow articulation, wrist articulation, and shoulder, so actually really good, and I thought it would just be like, you know, the arm and stuff, and maybe the wrist, but no, even the elbow. Also, I love how it looks so feathery. Like, it really does look like it's coated with feathers, and you can clearly see where the feathers stop on the body, which is awesome to see, but, you know, Oh, oh, he just went, well, I can't retrieve him, he just went all the way to the other side of the room. But yeah, like, just, he went, he, you, and yeah, like, you can get him, like, ready to, like, grasp something, like, um, I got a baby dino in here, or a mini that we already unboxed. You can just have him, like, you know, stab him, or miss him, stab him, stomp him. You are so loud, man. And also... I think there's an error with mine, because I've seen some versions where, like, the mouth's supposed to be fully closed, but mine's just exposing all of his teeth. And also, uh, yeah, the, um, DNA code, I'll probably show that in close-ups, but, yeah, nicely hidden, actually. Still don't really like that, I still miss where it was just on the foot, because it kind of just looks weird. Also, let's compare him to another Mattel Dominion figure that we've unboxed, uh, T-Rex. Very nice. And, you know... Pretty good in scale, if you just, if you stand him up like this, then like it's a lot better. Cause like, you are much louder than this T-Rex for God's sake. Oh no, you can position the head. Oh, I didn't realize that. I thought it was, oh yeah. You can just, you can just break it. Oh nope, there's a stop. You can have, um, oh this would be cool. Just have Therizinosaurus first T-Rex. I would say Giga, but. Giga hasn't come out yet, except for the Super Colossal. You can just have T-Rex, like, bite down on one of the claws, and this Thera just stabs him in the neck. Oh, God. Or, you know, realistically, from the way I just positioned it, um, Thera's definitely impaling his throat. Bummer, dude. But, um, you know, he can also just pick at his head and just... Oh, God. Don't, don't break the T-Rex, please. And this... Oh, rips him up and... He's just dragging him away. Long live the king. Well, realistically, the Therizinosaurus is gonna fall off. Yeah. But yeah, this guy's really good, like, locking in the feet. Didn't realize that his head was poseable, so that's a nice feature. I would say I do wish the mouth could be open on its own, but, you know, that's just me being picky. Maybe we'll get a Hammond version of this. But yeah. Also, a shame, his toe, he's got these amazing, um, claws painted, where it looks like it's sort of airbrushed, actually, because, like, there's little veins that have paint a bit of gray in them, but it's a shame that his toenails still aren't painted, which is the opposite problem I had with this T-Rex, which, actually, in my spare time, I actually painted the toe, the fingernails for this guy. I'll probably do that for this guy, actually, but... Yeah, only downside for this guy is actually that, you know, he doesn't have his, um, toenails painted. Also, he's got some weird whitewash on one of his feet, which, I think that's, um, oh, no, it's on both sides, not a mistake, just a little feature. But, yeah, guys, this is actually probably 
one of my favorites. I would definitely say if there's one of the new Dominion Dinos that so far have come out that I would say pick for yours, I would say it's definitely this guy actually. I do like him. He's got a nice paint. I love the way the red goes down and sort of actually fades into the blue, which is something you don't really see with Mattel's toys actually now that I've noticed. Maybe it's because it's feathering so it's supposed to look like it fades in, but actually it looks nice, like if I'll show you in close-ups, of course, but it actually is really good. Good playability, you can have two features, poseability, and you can just have him you'll grab the T-Rex from behind, throw him to the ground, and just kill him. Just... And there it is. Well, he had to go down, I guess. I guess T-Rex just, you know... You can also have T-Rex just bite him down while he's vulnerable, rips his arms off, throws him, and you know, oh, no, no. Are you okay down there? I guess we know the winner is gonna be T-Rex, of course. Ah, I can't reach, there we go, got you by the head. Oh, jeez, his, his hands are just going, he's just having a little jazz time. Oh, wow. Okay, well actually, another bonus before we go actually, is that I can, unlike with other toys, I don't even think I can do this with the Indoraptor, but this guy, as you can see here, I'll probably zoom it in a little closer, but he's actually standing technically on one foot with just the toenail of the other holding him in place, and he's, oh excuse me, not falling, so actually, I would say, this guy is definitely, I would say nine. Only downside is like, the toenails aren't painted, of course, and I would say the red needs to continue onto the tail. Maybe it doesn't actually, I haven't really seen a good render of the Therizinosaurus yet. Also, this just me, but I would have loved the um, beak to be painted as well, because, you know, it'd be cool as well. It's not the end of the world for that one, but, I mean, toenails, yeah. But guys, that is it. That is the Therizinosaurus. It was, it was loads of fun to actually look at him, you know. Ox I can't speak apparently, but yeah, it's really good. One of my favorites. I definitely say it's better than the T-Rex actually, which is hard to say. I'm sorry, Rexy. Now, 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 let's just be reasonable. You can kill me after the video. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. But until the next unboxing, whether it's a Lego or a Mattel figure, I don't know what I'm going to do. I've got plenty to choose from at the moment. Maybe it might be a vehicle, actually. Who knows? But until that, I'll see you later. Hit the subscribe. Oh, yeah. Leave a like, guys, if you enjoyed the video, all that stuff. And if you have picked up your own Therizinosaurus, which I assume you have. What are your thoughts on it? Is it your favorite um, Mattel figure so far for Dominion? Or do you have something else that maybe is your favorite? Leave it in the comments. Let us know, including him. And until next time, guys, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt, as we're almost at 3,000 subscribers. We need to have reached that goal. And until next time, guys, be safe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.